Do you have trouble getting rid of things because it's so hard to make decisions? That's a common problem, but we're going to solve it today. Hi, I'm Sandra Felton, the organizer lady. This is a technique that was developed by Marcia Sims, my co-author in several of my books. And here's what the, the technique is. It simplifies decision making. Let us say that you have a dining room table that's full of things, old mail and bills that need to be paid and things that you've bought but haven't put up yet and so and things you, you know what I'm talking about. Well, here's what we do. It's too big a job to start tackling the whole table. So this is called the quadrant method. And the quadrant method is this. You take the, you take the table in your mind and you divide it into four parts. Now we're going to concentrate on only one part, which, always, which already makes it easier to make a decision. Then you get three boxes. The first box says yes. You write yes on the box or on a piece of paper that you take to the box. The next box says no. And the last box says maybe. Now your job is to go to that quadrant and put everything that's on that little, that little section of the table to put everything in one of these three boxes. Or, I'll tell you something else. Okay, so if you, you put yes if it's something you, now listen carefully, you know where it goes and you know you want to keep it and as soon as you get up from the table, you'll go put it there because it's okay. I mean, you're ready to do it. You just haven't gotten around to doing it. The next box says, no. That means you really don't want this and wonder why you ever kept it to begin with. So it's either going to go in the trash or it's going to go to charity or you're going to give it to Aunt Susie down the street for her little boy or you're going to uh, put it in the garbage, okay? So that goes into your second box. Those so far things are, you know, pretty easy. The last one is the hard part, and that's the maybe box. That means you really can't make a decision. You kind of want it, but you don't know. You, 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 you may be getting kind of tired of it. It doesn't work for you anymore. This is for things that you can't decide about. Or you want it, you know you want it, but you have no place for it. Put it aside and come back to it later by putting it in the maybe box. Now, that quadrant is, oh no, you have, maybe you have something that's, that really you just can't decide about. So I suggest to you, you your first quadrant is now empty, you put it into the second quadrant. Now, in the second quadrant, you do the same thing. You put them in the yes, the no, and the maybe box. But if you have something you just don't want to make a decision about, you don't want to put it in the yes, the no, or the maybe box, what do you do with it? As you're clearing that second quadrant, and you can't make a decision about something, you put it into you guessed it, the third quadrant. <laughs> now, I know this, you'll probably understand this. Every time you move it from one quadrant to another, you take a little small step forward in deciding what you want to do with it. Then finally, after you clear the third quadrant, and you go to the fourth quadrant, all those things that are in the fourth quadrant get handled with the boxes, and then you have those, uh, those things that you have been moving from one quadrant to another. And if you still haven't decided whether it goes in the yes, the no, or the maybe box, and trust me, you will make some decisions at that last quadrant that you couldn't make at the first quadrant. You'll see when you try it. Then when you get to the fourth quadrant and you still haven't decided, all of the things in the fourth quadrant that are maybe go into the maybe box then take that box and put it aside now you're going to find put it in the garage in the basement over on the side of the wall or somewhere 
And you're going to find that about one-third of them, the stuff that's on the, the table that you've been clearing, will go into the garbage. It'll be discarded uh, or recycled or something. It's, it's gone. The One-third of them will go into the keeper box. And one-third of them will be dealt with later. Now, the question comes up, and rightly so, well, what are you going to do with those in the, in the maybe box? <laughs> well, I hate to tell you this, but you're going to have to tune in to another video, and we'll discuss how to get rid of those really tough things that you haven't quite decided what to do with yet. It's worth the effort. Clear up your house, clear up your surfaces, and you'll be living the organized life that you've been looking for. My name is Sandra Felton. I'm the organizer lady. Visit me at Messies, that's M-E-S-S-I-E-S dot -E -E com for more help, look for more videos, and your life will turn out to be much more organized than you can imagine right now.